Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song-specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song-specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for this song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This song patch has piano, lots of pads, some bells and bass all triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here up to here. Most of your sounds will be triggered in this lowest left hand range. When the song section control is all the way down, there's just piano and a small pad, a very quiet pad triggered in this lowest left hand range. So just piano in this upper range. Then when the song section control is at halfway or above, you'll hear some pads and other sounds in this upper left hand range and some other sounds will come in as you move the mod wheel up as well. Then when the song section controls all the way down, you will also have a bell sound up in this upper octave. And that bell sound does go away as you increase the song section control. When the song section control is all the way down, you'll play the interlude, down verse, and down chorus. Then when the song section control is at halfway, this is where you're going to start the song with the verse and the chorus. So you'll play the majority of the song at this halfway position. Then when it's all the way up, you'll play the big verse. And remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. You'll start the song with the song section control at halfway. You'll play single notes in the high octave of your left hand range. For this part, there is a pad layered on top of the piano, but all we really want to hear is the pad sound. So if you play your notes really lightly, you'll be able to trigger the pad in just a tiny bit of piano. If you decide that you don't care about having the piano sound in there, you can absolutely play those notes a little bit harder. Or if you decide you want to layer chords on top of that as well, you can do that too. So for the first two parts of this down verse, you'll play everything just with that left hand in that upper range. Then for the second half or the third and fourth parts of this verse, you're going to play octaves in the left hand and chords in the right hand. Now, as is the case with many songs that are of this type, you are totally able to improvise, add piano riffs, uh, add arpeggiations between your left hand and your right hand during this part. Or if you decide that you just want to play the basic chords, you can absolutely do that too. The verse comes back later in the song, first as a down verse, then as a big verse. So for the down verse, you're going to bring the song section control all the way down 
and you're only going to play a bell riff in the right hand way up high. Here's what that riff sounds like. So you'll notice two things, one of which is that we are only really playing the chords for this section, but arpeggiated in that pattern, starting with that middle note, then going down, then middle, then up. The other thing you'll notice is that there is a noisy pad happening underneath this. So what I recommend is that you hold your pedal down during this entire time that you play this upper right hand part. Now, if you want to refresh the pedal every chord, you can definitely do that, but the bells don't really extend that far to where it would get muddy if you held the pedal down the whole time. So after you play this verse, you won't play anything in your left hand during that part. Then you're going to bring the song section control all the way up for a big verse. For this big verse, you play octaves in the left hand and a new piano riff in the right hand. Here's what this riff sounds like. and you'll repeat that over and over. So here's what half of this verse would sound like with both hands. And you'll just continue the same way throughout that entire verse. For the chorus, you'll have the song section control at halfway. You'll play octaves in the left hand and a mixture of chords and piano riffs in the right hand. During this part, like I said, during the verse, you can add in improvisations. During this part, I like to arpeggiate my left hand between the lower octave and the higher octave, then just add in some improvisations in my right hand. Here's an example of what that would look like. So really, you would just be taking the chords you would be playing in the right hand and the octaves you'd be playing in the left hand and playing them each on a different beat. I like to continue this type of playing throughout the entire chorus, even through the repeat of the chorus as well. Later in the song, you will play another chorus. For this chorus, you will again have the song section control at halfway, but you're going to play chords in the higher range of your right hand up in this octave. And these chords you'll just play pulsing on eighth notes like this. Then for the very last chorus of the song, you'll bring the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and again chords slash piano riffs in your right hand. Something to note about this bass position is, again, that all of your sounds are triggered in this lowest left hand range. You'll be triggering piano chords and a soft pad. 
but besides that, there's just piano on all of these notes, with the exception of that bell range up high. So if you want to arpeggiate your chords, it's a lot easier to do so. You don't only have to play the pinky and the thumb in the left hand, you can add in that pointer finger whenever you are playing notes that are above this octave break. <clears throat> so for example, I could arpeggiate the four chord like this. Five chord. Six chord. And so on and so forth. But for the one chord, you would only want to play the octaves because if you were to play that pointer finger, you'd be triggering another chord in that lowest range. So this just allows for a little more flexibility if you want to play more notes or if you want to bring the right hand down into that left hand range as well, which I like to do every so often too. Be sure to watch the full demo video to see all of these parts in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys and all of our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds and I'll see you next time.